Hi everyone, it's MJ, and in today's video, I want to talk about the hidden curriculum in actuarial science. Now, a hidden curriculum contains all the lessons that you weren't explicitly taught, but you kind of figure out while you're doing something. So in this video, I want to focus on one of the big lessons that I learned while doing actuarial science. And that lesson, it's actually not going to come as a surprise to most of you, is that humans tend to underestimate failure. And I want to talk a little bit more about this and some of the implications and maybe reasons why we do this. Um, I think a lot of us, you know, we grow up reading stories where the hero always wins. I mean, it's kind of like survivor bias. If you're a hero and you die during your journey, you don't really get to write a book about it. Um, but also, I just think humans enjoy reading about success rather than failure. I mean, my brother's busy reading this book by the CEO of Nike, and he's loving it. If he had to read a book about someone who started a shoe business and failed, he probably wouldn't even yeah, get past the first few pages. So it's weird how we are attracted to success. But what this means is that while we're growing up, we're always being told the hero wins, this person was a success, this person made a lot of money, this person did a great job. And we kind of start to underestimate failure. Of course, when we start doing actuarial science and we write a couple of these exams and we get our marks back, we see, ooh, okay, failure, failure is a real thing. But this is the problem that I think what society's done by underestimating failure is that when it does occur, we tend to get very despondent, we tend to get angry with ourselves, we get very, very disappointed. And I think that is the problem because if we fail, and like I say, I think the likelihood of us failing is a lot higher than what we originally expected to be. Um, but when we fail, we shouldn't be disappointed. We shouldn't beat ourselves up. You know, we should realize that failure is a lot more likely than, like I said, what we what we've originally thought it to be. So if you're writing these actuarial exams and you are failing or you failed one and you're feeling beaten up and you're feeling down and you're thinking, oh, the subject's not for me, let me go try something easier, um, I want to say stop. Stop, take a deep breath and realize that failure is more common than you thought and give it another go. I mean, that is the lovely thing about these actual exams, is it's not like you get a one chance to do it and if you fail it, they kick you out of the course. If you fail these exams, simply write them again. If you're struggling at university, ask your professor if you can repeat the year. Don't give up and keep going strong because I think this is one of the lessons that I've learned, which I know seems so obvious, but you know, when you've grown up in a society that is forever talking about success, I mean, most movies that we watch have got happy endings, we start to think that success is the most likely outcome, and we tend to underestimate failure. So I'm hoping that this video is a little bit of a motivation to any of you guys who have written the exams in the past and have failed. I want to motivate you and say, try again. I mean, another exam session is coming up in two months' time. Put your name down register for the exams, and start preparing today. And then, hey, like I said, if you do fail, just try again and don't beat yourself up. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time for another video. Cheers.